sit on these jagged rocks and just reflect and ramble on about this past year in uh, which is my first year in the trucking industry and just give you all some of my thoughts and uh, go from there just not scripted at all just going straight from the head straight from the brain so um, you know, I came into this industry, started with Millis Transfer, went through their uh, school last November 2018, uh, did their three-week school, went out with a trainer, a uh, very awesome trainer. Uh, I was with him for about seven weeks, uh, need to get 15,000 miles uh, with him, and then we can go solo. So I did that, took about seven weeks. Uh, took a couple days off between there because it was uh, it was about Thanksgiving and uh, went and spent a, spent a weekend with my parents in uh, Myrtle Beach and came back got my own truck and been solo ever since today is uh, Sunday September 1st 2019 so uh, learned a lot in the in the past 10 months you know whatever it is uh, 10 months on my own nine and a half ten months learned a lot it's definitely an up and down emotional uh, industry you know you're out here by yourself a lot with your thoughts you know you know, yeah, you have your entertainment going down the road. You have the radio, satellite radio, uh, podcasts, uh, audio books, if you're into that, while going down the road. But, you know, sometimes it's just good to turn all that off and think while going down the road. You know, reflect on your decisions, you know, whether they're good, bad, and different, whatever. Just, uh... You know, sometimes you gotta slow down, take the time to to reflect, and that's what that's what this is partly as well. So, like I said, it's been up and down. You know, I've had some unlucky things happen to me. Uh, I wouldn't quite say I have a lemon uh, of a semi truck, but things do seem to keep happening so if you've been following my journey you understand what I'm talking about uh, you know just things every week something seems to seems to happen something seems to break sensor needs replaced you know tires need replaced whatever just seems like there's always something and then I tell those stories or see people that have been following my my journey on here at a terminal or see them wherever they come up and say hey I watch your channel thanks for the content which is cool. Uh, if you ever see me, you're welcome, more than welcome to come up and say hi. I love it. But <clears throat> usually one of the first things out of their mouths, they're like, man, I feel bad for you and all those breakdowns. <laughs> I'm like, well, I, I don't know any different. You know, it, it's my experience. It's what I've, it's what I've known. It's not like I've been in this industry for 10, 15, 20 years, like some of the guys out here who've experienced, uh, you know, long periods of time where their truck just needed like regular oil changes and stuff and nothing else. That just hasn't been my experience. So uh, if you watched my six month recap, um, I had added up like 84 or 87 total hours of repair time that I've, that I've been sitting due to uh, stuff needing done on the truck, which I'm now finding is exorbitantly high. So, but like I said, it is what it is. Um, now that we're almost a week removed from the news of Millis being bought out by Heartland Express, <clears throat> I've talked to and ran into a lot of Millis drivers and um, the consensus is, is pretty much the same that we all feel gut punched 
especially the the day that the news was released to us it all we all felt like uh, you know just blindsided or whatever and then you know you let those emotions and thoughts settle down for 24 hours 48 hours whatever it is and then you just start thinking of the big picture you know what could this ultimately mean whatever you know there's still a ton of unanswered questions and there always will be not every single question is ever going to get answered because the Mills family is not going to release the information that a lot of us are asking and rightfully so you know it's a private company they have the right to do what they want with their company um, you know there's a lot of speculation as to why out there I'm not going to get into that I mean there's no reason to start any rumor mills or or whatever there's already enough of that going around but uh, <clears throat> me myself I have loved every minute of being with Millis, they are a fantastic company. Their reviews and everything that you see and read online, they're all true. Um, I wouldn't change my decision for anything. Um, and it's hard for me to recommend for somebody to come here now just because of the uncertainty of what the future holds. If that's a big if the schools remain, you know, the five school locations, Millis remains untouched, their pay, the, the structure, everything remains untouched. And it's truly a, just a subsidiary of Heartland Express and remains that way forever. Then yes, I will, I will go back to continuing to recommend people come through their schooling. Uh, now, if once the Millis brothers leave uh, and retire and do whatever they're going to do, and Heartland does eventually start rebranding everything and essentially dissolving Millis, if that happens, then it'll be a completely different company, and I won't have any information or experience as to that particular way of running their school. So. At that point, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say one way or the other. So, if you're watching this and you're thinking about coming to Millis or starting into the trucking industry, I'm, I'm at a crossroads right now as to whether uh, it's recommending to come to Millis. That's, that's going to be on you. But as far as me and my plans, before this information came out, I had had plans to uh, move to a different carrier anyway, and that's still the same. I'm not going to divulge which carrier yet because it's not 100% in stone. Things can still change between now and then. My one-year contract with Millis is up October 23rd, so around then, maybe a little bit after, is when I plan on uh, making some sort of move so if you're not yet make sure to su subscribe hit that notification bell so you can follow me in my journeys moving forward I'd appreciate that and uh, you know I'll definitely be giving you that information when the time is right but it's not right right now you know <clears throat> another part of this industry that's really tough not necessarily all of truck driving uh, pertains to this, you know, like your local routes, your regional, regional stuff where you're home every weekend or every night. That doesn't pertain to this, but those that are out here on the road, OTR, over the road, um, you know, it, it's pretty tough. Even if your home life is can be frustrating, you know, if you get into a lot of arguments with your family or spouse or whatever and you feel like the time away from them would be beneficial yeah yeah it can be um, you know in my case it had gotten to the point before I left for school that um, my wife and I were let's just say we were getting on each other's nerves <laughs> quite a bit 
uh, and then then I left for here and it's it's been good for our relationship believe it or not um, You know, it, it's still tough to be away. You know, you're you're talking via phone, text, whatever the communication of or the mode of communication is. It's still not in person, which is completely different than being physically apart from somebody for five, six weeks at a time, and. Trying to effectively communicate. I think the hardest part for me is when she's going through some tough times or, or whatever at work or uh, you know and and our daughter she just started her senior year she's 17 she's in color guard she uh, was at practice one night and was you know, flipping the flag, and uh, she heard a loud pop in her shoulder. So now we're waiting on the results for the MRI to come back, whether, you know, she's going to need surgery or not. And now as we're recording this video, about two, three days ago, Dorian, the hurricane, is projected to come through the middle of Florida, which is right where our house is. Thankfully... As of right now, the path is, it's turning north towards, you know, the Carolinas and the eye, as of right now, is staying out in the ocean, which is a blessing for everybody. But until the news of it turning come out, you know, I'm up here in Wisconsin, I'm 1,300 miles away from home. I can't readily get, get home because I'm actively on a load and, you know, And then she's down there freaking out because she's a she's a nurse so she doesn't have a whole lot of time outside of work and sleep to get stuff like sandbags and 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 water and food and and just get the house prepped well needless to say this news of it turning north is a is a huge relief on both of us you know because i felt guilty being out here and not being able to be home and and help her and, and all that stuff. And our daughter, you know, she's in a sling, so she can't help move stuff off the floor, up upstairs, and whatever. So those are the tough times being out here on the road. But you know, we get to see the country. Uh, our office is out of a windshield, and I've had a desk job. I've had a cubicle. And I, after about two months of that, I absolutely hated every second of it. It was on the phone in a, in a call center, and I was miserable, absolutely flipping miserable. And I think that's what led to a lot of the arguments between my wife and I, and, you know, I wasn't happy at all. And whether I wanted to or not, I brought that home. But ever since I got out here on the road, I've never had those negative feelings. It's been it's been great for my psyche. It's been it's been really good. Yes, there's been frustrations, obviously, like anything. Um, there's stuff you have hurdles you have to go go through, get over. Uh, you know, you get yourself in pickles, whatever. That's always going to happen. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm a whole lot happier as a person out here. Uh, which is great. You know, I've met some awesome people, um, you know, both through YouTube here and, uh, driving, you know, the biggest one that comes to mind is, you know, BT Higgins, Biggins Trucking. Uh, if you haven't watched his channel, make sure you go over, uh, check in my description, click on his link, check out his content. He is, he is one awesome guy. He's hilarious. And, uh, you know, we, we talk quite often. <laughs> it's always a riot. We we both end up cracking up every time we talk, and I love it. I love it. So uh, let's see what else. Um, 
when I got to the terminal here last night, there were a couple of guys that uh, have been watching my videos and thanked me uh, for all the content that I put out. And, and that, that's a great feeling as well. You know, I started this, I guess more so as a documentation of my journey. I never thought I'd be, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't do this for the subscribers. I didn't do it starting out wanting to be a quote unquote YouTuber. Um, but I guess that's what I'm referred to as now. Close to 900 subscribers, which is crazy to me. Um, but I, I want to put out content that's relevant, interesting, that will help somebody that's looking to get into this industry, whether it be at Millis or any other company. Uh, you know, I don't want my content just to be Millis specific. I want it to be able to help all drivers, all new drivers. Um, and I hope it has. And, and the people that I've talked to have said it has, and it makes me feel good, so. Just walking back to the terminal. It's a nice little walk. I'm extremely out of shape, if you haven't noticed, by the way. I'm not a small guy. Man. Never realized how busy this road was. But it's a, it's a Sunday afternoon, I guess. It's 1400, 2 o'clock. So people were out of church and on their way to lunch, on their way home, whatever. I thought I'd pop, pop back in here and throw in a couple of things that I miss, you know, being out here on the road. I miss being able to do pretty much, do and go pretty much wherever you want outside of work. Out here on the road, you can't really do that. Yes, we do have an option called personal conveyance. But that can't be used anytime, anywhere. And, you know, even bobtail, bobtail semi trucks can't fit everywhere. Most places they can, but. So that's one, one thing I miss. You know, another thing, I have, a, I have a motorcycle. Before we moved to Florida, I had a motorcycle. And it's still up in Pennsylvania with my parents. So I really miss that. I really miss being able to ride on my time off. That's another way to just decompress and enjoy the countryside. But where I live down in Florida, it's not really many country roads. A lot of uh, just a ridiculous amount of traffic so it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that serene type of riding like out here in the country speaking of it every time I see that I'm like man god I wish I could do that again someday someday uh, yeah, so those are the biggest things I miss, is just being able to, you know, be with your family every day, go out to dinner, make dinner, have dinner, watch TV shows together, whatever, and go wherever you want, whenever you want, outside of work. You miss those things. start doing this more often take walks when I'm on my brakes get a
need a little bit of exercise. That's another thing, guys. You know, it's believe it or not, driving may sound easy and lazy, and well, all you do is just drive, sit, and drive all day. Well, yes, you build up your your tolerance to be able to drive, you know, 10, 11 hours a day, six, seven hundred miles a day. But it, it takes a toll on you. It really does, physically, mentally. You're constantly paying attention to you know, traffic, directions, where you're going. Stop here, let this car pass. Um, easy there, killer. Uh, yeah, so it's, I mean, it, it, by the time you shut down at the end of the day, you know more feel like eating, watching a YouTube video or two, or maybe something on Netflix or whatever, and just crashing. I mean... I know, at least personally, that's what I feel like most days. You know, once I shut down, the last thing I want to do is go walk or jog or do anything really physical for 30 minutes or so. And then you have the thing of showers. You know, not every single day are you going to be able to get a shower. And... <laughs> You don't really want to go walking, jogging for 30, 45 minutes, get all sweaty, and not have a shower. That's just absolutely disgusting. You know, get all sweaty, then lay down in your bed and sleep. No, no. <laughs> no thanks. So. Well. We're about back to the terminal here. Just see it here. There's the entrance. I don't know if you can hear those little pops going off in the background or not. There's a gun range right next to the terminal here. But here's a little better view. Again, this is our Trenton, Ohio terminal, and we got a truck coming up behind us here. So let him go by. to get back in the truck cool down all right y'all i appreciate you listening to my ramblings stay safe until next time keep them wheels turning we'll catch you next time